When you try to get a max temple at Bloom's Tower Defense 6, you first need to sacrifice 3 out of 4 types of monkeys into your temple, and then you need to sacrifice 4 out of 4 types into your true sun god. So the question arose, what happens if you sacrifice the different varieties of those 3 monkeys into your temple when you finally get a true sun god? So I did the test, one with no primary, one with no military, one with no magic, and one with no support, and got some interesting results. The no primary ended up being the strongest temple of them all and defeated the balloons the quickest and easiest. No magic ended up being the second most powerful. And then no military and no support ended up being the uh, least powerful, which was, again, very interesting to me. Let me know what you guys think.